Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our Discord to get more great guides and benchmarks for games. Today we'll be looking at the best settings for Doom Eternal. We'll be comparing Ultra Nightmare settings with our custom setup that we found through thorough testing of each major graphic setting. We found that the settings that most affected performance are DLSS, Geometric Quality, Reflections Quality and Shadow Quality. They have the most effect on FPS, but also on the quality of the game. So we found the balance of quality versus of performance for the best experience. So what are our settings? Well we went for DLSS quality, if you have the option, texture pool size ultra, shadow quality medium, reflections medium, motion blur doesn't do anything if you have it turned off like us, so we just leave it at what it is, directional occlusion medium, light quality ultra, particles quality ultra, decal quality high, water quality high, volumetrics quality ultra, texture filtering quality ultra, and geometric quality ultra. I'll explain what some of the more important settings do. So DLSS is the technology of rendering the game at a lower resolution and then upscaling it and applying AI filtering to make it look like the resolution you're playing at. This gives better performance but at some quality loss. However, it is limited to RTX cards and so not available to, for all of you to enjoy. Geometric quality seems to affect how many polygons are rendered and the quality of them. Therefore reducing this decreases the load on the GPU and increases FPS. Reflections are pretty self-explanatory and change how reflective surfaces reflect what they show. And so the decrease in quality will worsen what the image they reflect. So unless you fancy using a mirror to admire Doomguy's suit, this can be turned down for a great increase in FPS. The shadow quality is also pretty straightforward. It affects how shadows look and how they transition between light and dark. This means there's more sudden change in light levels and scenes become brighter. Honestly, even at the lowest settings, the game still manages to look pretty good. It mainly takes out the details of fires, wall faces and shadows. But realistically, in such a fast paced game, you're not really looking at the details in the environment, but looking for that smooth experience of cutting demons in half. So what do these options give us? Well, they give us an increase of roughly 35 to 40 frames, as well as higher lows. This means that any dips in FPS aren't as distracting and noticeable, giving a much smoother experience. These screenshots provide a still image of how the settings compare to each other. Not that you'll be stopping to look at the detail much in this game. As you can see, it is not noticeable with a sizable increase in performance. These settings also help with the VRAM load, and even turning down these options a few notches, our VRAM usage dropped by 2GB. This can be a great help for those running older cards, with lower VRAM on them and helps with a smooth experience, and an experience at all, as Doom limits you to not being able to play if you are trying to use more VRAM than you have. So that is all from today's video. Those are the best settings for the FPS and performance, and will hopefully let you enjoy the game at the best performance and quality. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one.